Hello, my most amazing artists, and welcome back to Art Class with Mr. Mazur. This week, we're going to read Mixed, a colorful story by Ari Chung. In the beginning, there were three colors, yellows, reds, and blues. Reds were the loudest. La, 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 la. Yellows were the brightest. And blues were the coolest. Everyone lived in color harmony until one afternoon when a red said, reds are the best. The yellows disagreed. No, we're the best because we're the brightest. The blues were too cool to even respond. The colors decided to live in separate parts of the city. But then, one day, a yellow noticed a blue. And something happened. I feel so happy when I'm near you. And I feel so calm when I'm with you. Yellow and blue became inseparable. Life felt so vibrant. But not all the colors were happy about it. Colors shouldn't mix. I don't like yellow's effect on blue. That blue isn't bright enough for yellow. But yellow and blue loved each other so much, they decided to mix. Together, they created a new color. They named her green. Green was bright like yellow and calm like blue, but really she was a color all her own. Everyone was fascinated. She's so cute. I've never seen anything like her before. Can I hold her? Even the grumpy colors fell in love with green. The colors began to see new possibilities. Soon, other colors mixed, and mixed, and mixed, and mixed. There were so many new colors, and a lot of new names. Be careful, Jade. Don't forget your glasses, Lavender. Have fun, Amber. The old neighborhoods of Redville Blue Town and Yellow Heights didn't make sense anymore. Everyone wanted to live together. So they rebuilt the city. The new city was full of color. It wasn't perfect, but it was home. And that was the story of Mixed. So this week we are going to be taking our beautiful letter paintings that we did last week. <coughs> Hopefully you traced over those letters with a nice thick black, either paint or marker. And we are going to be doing some color mixing of our own. Now, for those of you at school, I'm gonna leave my color wheel up. <coughs> or for those of you at home, I'm gonna leave my color wheel out so you can see how to blend to make some different colors. So we'll use that color wheel there and we're gonna use that. So today you're gonna need a bowl of water and a brush and some markers. So I'm gonna take my markers out now. We're only gonna use the colored markers. We don't need to use black or brown so you can leave those inside. So I'm going to take all these colors that are on my color wheel and I'm going to show you how you can mix them and create new colors. So if we're going to do like the story, we can take blue and yellow and what color does blue and yellow make? Green. That's right. So we're going to trace our letters 
with the marker, and then I'm gonna show you how you can create some cool blend effects. So I'm gonna start with my cue here, and I'm just gonna trace around my cue, just like that. Now if I wanted to do another blue, I could. Or I'm gonna do a yellow right next to it, so I'm gonna leave a little bit of space in between those two, and trace that cue again. And maybe I'll do it again. I'm gonna do a pattern. So I'm gonna do blue. And once you run out of room, you can stop and maybe move on to tracing another color or jump over it like this, like I'm gonna do. Now, here's where we're gonna do the cool thing. We're gonna take our paintbrush just with water, no paint on it. And I'm gonna drag that wet brush over top of my marker and look what's gonna happen. Can you tell? Blue and yellow are starting to make green. So I can mix those two together and create a nice green color. Now, boys and girls, one thing I do want you to be careful of, don't take your wet brush and go dragging it through this because that's gonna make that black get real messy and that'll mess up your picture, make it look kind of muddy and dirty. So try and be careful not to drag that brush through the black. Now, if I wanna blend some like colors, maybe like red and orange, and I can create a red-orange color, so I'm gonna show you how to do that one. I'm gonna do my V that's over here. So I'm gonna trace that with red and orange. I'm gonna go back to red again. I'm doing what we did a few weeks ago and creating a pattern. Now let's see what happens when we take our wet brush and drag it over those colors. Now I'm gonna be creating a red-orange color. So painting with markers is a really fun thing to do. You can get a, kinda looks like watercolor paint, which can be very nice. So boys and girls, you're free to go through and make some more fun color combinations. Trace around all of your letters. You can do colors that are next to each other, like green and yellow, and create yellow greens. Or you can combine primary colors, like red and blue, and create purple, or red and yellow, and create orange, or blue and yellow, and create green. You're the artist, so the choice is yours, but have fun mixing colors. We'll see you next week.